Part 4. The Cost Page In the previous parts of this video, I've prepared a quick pre-feasibility study of a 10 megawatt photovoltaic project in Germany. Now we will turn to Retscreen's Cost Page. As in the Energy Page, there are different levels of analysis, with higher levels allowing more detail in the specification of costs. The level is selected by the buttons at the left of the menu. The level setting here is completely independent of and unrelated to the level setting on other red screen pages, and the inputs specified in the three different levels are all independent of each other. Let's compare the three levels and see how they differ. In level 1, I see that there are sections for specifying initial costs, annual costs, and annual savings as lump sums. I can also specify credits, which are actually savings. For example, if small livestock were permitted to graze around this photovoltaic installation and this generated some annual revenues, this could be entered as a credit under annual costs. This would reduce the annual costs. I can add costs and credits by clicking on the plus button. Note that in level 1, both the initial costs and annual O&M costs specified in the energy page appear. Level 2 differs from level 1 in three ways. First, there are more rows for entering details about costs. For example, initial costs are broken into subsections for feasibility, development, engineering, power system, and balance of system. Second, only the annual O&M costs are carried over from the energy page. Retscreen assumes that in a level 2 analysis, we may want to specify the initial cost of individual system components rather than the total system cost as provided on the energy page. I have to manually enter the initial costs in level 2. Third, at the bottom of the page there is a new section for periodic costs. These are future costs or credits that regularly recur, but not every year. So, for example, if I wanted to budget for inverter replacement every 12 years of this project, I could add a line item for this. Level 3 is similar to Level 2, but allows for more detail within each section. It can serve as a useful list of costs that should be investigated at the feasibility level. Since each of these levels is independent of the others, the parameters I entered in Level 2 do not automatically appear in Level 3. Fortunately, there is a menu item that allows me to copy data from Level 2 to Level 3. When I click on this, the initial costs and inverter replacement that I specified in Level 2 appear. Under the section Balance of System and Miscellaneous, I can select from a drop-down list of technologies that tailors the line items to a particular technology. For example, for photovoltaic systems it adds inverter, collector support structure, and installation. I'll specify 400,000 euros for the inverter cost and adjust the power system costs to keep the total initial costs at 7.5 million euros. There are a number of useful features accessible in the menu. One of these is second currency, which facilitates the calculation of costs that will be paid in a different currency. For this photovoltaic system, for example, 30% of the power system costs and 90% of the inverter costs might be in Chinese yuan. I'd select China for the second currency, enter a conversion rate of 0.13 euros per won, and then specify the percentages of each line item that would be paid in won. Redscreen shows that 33.2% of the initial costs would be paid in won, and this would total 19.2 million won. That introduces the use of the cost page for power projects. For more detail, there are photovoltaic, wind power, and hydro project analysis videos that you may find helpful. In the next part of this video, I will look at the emission page.